Okay, what's up, people? Lock Nation, how y'all doing? Today, we're gonna be doing that rinse. You know what I'm saying? We got our bowl here. We got T here. Where it's a hate people. Hello. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna be helping me do some more videos in the future. But, gotta fill the bucket up with a bowl or something like this up, or a sink. Fill it up with um, hot water. And we got some. Uh, Arm and Hammer baking soda. Got some pure baking soda right there. Bow. You know what I'm saying? So we got this great value apple cider vinegar. <laughs> they say it's recommended to use the natural brand, but this one's all right too. So fuck it. So we're gonna wing it right now. You know what I'm saying? We've been looking up videos, but ain't no specifics. We haven't found any on how much you should put in there. So we're gonna wing it. You feel me? And this is going to clean out any lint or dirt and smells as well out of the locks. And said that they are going to feel so much lighter. You want to get all your stuff in here. It's going to fizz too. Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. We're fizzing on the Bacon soda, I got bacon soda. <laughs> you know, you're gonna stir it up, it's gonna be fizzing and shit, and you'll stir it up to get back kind of clear. You feel me? And that's gonna be when it's ready to be added to the hair. And people who said they've done this rinse, they love it. They love it! Got it mixed up nice and good. Now, you're basically gonna be just running all the. Um, fluids through the hair and more, uh, massaging the scalp and everything like that so it's kind of like washing but a more gentle way you know what I'm saying you'll be working it all through if you see some build up you can pick at it while you got the, um, the water on it or whatever and back. And you want to work the water through the locks bring some water up you know, put it on the hair let it run through you're going to do this for about four, five, six minutes. If you have any problem areas, you, know, you can do this yourself uh, standing in the sink forward. Just pull, pull your head forward and do this yourself. If you know you have any problem areas, like say most people in the back of their locks, they have uh, where they get the most lint and everything. So you want to get those areas real good. Make sure you get those areas soaked. I'm trying to grab the ones in the back where she had a lot of uh, build up and lint and things like that where mostly lint and I'm trying to um, see if I can get that out if it's still in.
it says you let your hair soak in it as well. Your hair is shorter and it really doesn't like hang and you know fall like a longer hair does you can still do it in the sink just take your hands with the water put it on your head you know and massage your scalp like that still works the same way After this rinse, you gotta wash your hair. <laughs> but this will definitely help get any unwanted dirt or lint that a normal wash maybe can't get. And there you have it, the apple cider and baking soda rinse. Now if she gets it dry to a point where she can get ready for a shower, she'll go wash her hair, you know, with the uh, shampoos and conditioners, just stuff like that. And we'll take a, a afterwards picture. And you can do the rinse yourself at home. So no, no, no big deal. Just uh, baking soda, you know, Arm and Hammers, of course. That's that's the most common. Uh, you can get some pure apple cider vinegar from Walmart or some pl a place like that, or any uh, grocery store that should have it. And you can also get the generic brands. It it works the same way, but you know, quality over quantity. So, uh, but other than that, you want to get all that uh, most of that dirt and lint out of your hair. You can go with this rinse. Warm water, baking soda, apple cider vinegar. You'll be good. Other than that, stay locked. Keep it healthy. Rinse that shit. <laughs> and uh, I'll see y'all next time. You feel me?